In 1980, the theme fame became a box office hit and the character Leroy Johnson catapulted in his role as Gene Anthony Ray into stardom. Ray was born in Harlem on May 24, 62, on West 153rd Street. He began performing street dance at an early age at block parties. He attended New York High School Performing Arts Ed but was expelled after only one year. His mother, Jean, said the school was too disciplined for her wine child. This lack of discipline will haunt him throughout his life. One day, Ray skipped class to audition for famous Keo, Graffia, Louis Falco, and as they say, the rest is history. In the entertainment industry, first impressions are key, and Jean Anthony Ray understood how to leave a lasting one. Ray deftly took the spotlight from a female friend he was helping audition in his first scene as Leroy Johnson, a street smart, rebellious dancing prodigy in fame, Alan Parker's gritty Oscar winning 1980 musical about pupils at the performing arts school. Ray triumphed spectators with his sensual dancing while wearing barely their Satan shorts and a sleeveless top tucked behind his head to highlight his perfect physique. As they watched Laurent's provocative movements, a teacher asked Debbie Allen's character, What do you call that? No stranger to the dance floor herself, Allen immediately responded, Wicked. Viewers of the film could not help but concur. For someone like Jean Anthony Ray, the timing was ideal to occupy the limelight. The spring of 80 saw the spring release of fame in theatres. Disco was no more, MTV hadn't even started. Michael Jackson's top charting R&B album, Off the War, continued to command the music industry. A number of films with eye-catching dance routines like Saturday Night Fever, Grease and All That Charts have been unexpected box office successes. The Oak Tretia and Slick Elk components have to be combined in order to appeal to audiences. They were looking for someone with a killer street strut. Ray, who's 17 years old, easily fit the bill. Even though he was expelled in his first year of attendance, Ray had one been a student at the same performing arts school that is portrayed in the movie as a young adolescent. He acknowledged that he was expelled because of his tongue and disrespectful attitude towards leaders. In a 2003 cast reunion interview, in the same interview, Alan characterized Ray as an amazing ball of energy and fire who was sweet and sour at the same time. Ray and Alan had grown to be nearly family throughout the course of producing the movie. She further said that Ray had struck a teacher at the school. Nevertheless, rebelliousness frequently works well on theme and Ray's made him a relatable character to oddness of impressionable youth. Ray was requested to repeat his role in the television series in 82, along with Allen and two other movie performers. Although it had trouble gaining viewers in the US, the small screen adaptation of fame became a genuine success there. It was produced for six seasons, and the cuts gave concerts in front of enthusiastic, raw course crowns. Ray's visage became associated with the series and he's not only became the sex symbol of fame. His popularity was so great that he was uplit to recruit two secretaries to deal with a massive fan mail he was receiving at no one time, which was said to be 17,000 letters per day. Ray was a favorite subject in fan publications because to his set eyes, attractive features and chilled, a donor's like figure. Of course, it was more difficult to go out in the public during the 80s when the AIDS pandemic was discussed in terms of appropriate for our film. Real career suicide that. However, Ray was very honest about his sexuality with his pals. Ray was cautious throughout interviews given at this period and frequently found ignorance in front of the camera. Later, his sense of humor grew more obvious, his gestures more flamboyant, his eye rolling more frequent, and he appeared to be always on the lookout for a joke to lighten the mood. His mother would turn out to be a major influence on his life and work in 83 when Ray wasn't at home. 
a house he'd bought for his family in a rural New York neighborhood where the majority of Caucasians were set on fire four times in what was thought to be racially motivated arson. The same year though Ray was involved, it was widely rumored that Sean and her mother had been detained in connection with a significant drug bust for battling cocaine and heroin, even though not set of fame. Son and mother have an unbreakable relationship, despite the humiliation, Ray is stuck by Jean and showed up for her court appearances until she was ultimately given a 15-year jail term. In a 2002 interview for the Fame DVD's Extra Features, Ray recognized his effect on a generation of musical theatre actors. It's worth it, he said. If your work, what you've done, has inspired someone to do well and do something positive in this crazy world today, I repeat it. Sadly, at the age of 41, he would pass away within a year. Derek's, like many of his friends, was shot when Ray passed away due to what near reported complications from a stroke. She admits that Ray did did occasionally become pretty unwell, but he always appeared to get better. He was in a hospice and was really, really sick, and I went to visit him every day, and then he was fine, he recalls. Ellen was astounded by Ray's premature passing. She passed away tears as she recalled a phone call from his mother, who had been freed from jail in 99, informing her that this was her final chance to speak to her body and that he most likely wouldn't survive the night. In November 2003, she would soon find herself hurriedly traveling to New York to attend his funeral. It's not difficult to recognize Ray's impact on shows like Lee and a generation of musicians who came after him. Even if he never found another project that gave his gift the kind of platform fame provided. As long as cinema exists, we'll remember his name to paraphrase a line from the Oscar winning song for the film. What do you think about Jean Anthony Ray's sad story? Please send him prayers below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to update the latest news about other celebrities. Thank you for watching the whole video.